forget to like and subscribe. Welcome back in the place to be with the CBDC Assets Group. Thank you for being a part of the group. Ripple XRP USD has been drifting down over the last month after peaking on November 10th at $1.33 per token. It has been on a steady slide ever since then. As of December 12th, XRP stood at 84 0.55 cents. That represents a drop of over 36% in one month. And while Ripple is currently being dragged along by prevailing crypto trends, its legal battle with the Securities and Exchange Commission could be a game changer for the crypto world. Currently, XRP is well below the peak of $1.83 on April 13th, according to CoinMarketCap. Nevertheless, so far this year, it's still up 256% year to date from 23.74 cents at the end of December. Ripple is now the eighth largest cryptocurrency in the world. It has a market cap of almost $40 billion. It's just below USD coin, a stable coin with a market value of $41 billion, and Cardano with $44.9 billion. As one of the top 10 cripples, Ripple is also highly influenced by big movers and shakers in the crypto world. I'm referring, of course, to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Ripple Labs Legal Battle Ripple's parent organization, Ripple Labs, the promoting company for XRP USD, is in the middle of a major battle with the SEC. The case is about whether the sale of XRP tokens was a sale of an unregistered security as the SEC claims. I discussed this case in my previous article on Ripple and why some think that the company will win. Back in November, Ripple had even gone as far as outlining their own version for the future cryptocurrency regulatory framework in the United States. Recently, the CEO of Ripple Labs, Brad Garlinghouse, told CNBC that he thinks that the case is nearing an end. According to Cointelegraph Online Magazine, Garlinghouse told CNBC that despite the slow-moving judicial process, the case seems to have made progress. He said he believes that the case will be over in 2022. More importantly, he said that the judge in this case realizes that the issues deal more than just with Ripple Labs. He said that he liked the questions from the judge in the case. I'm pretty sure one of the reasons Brad Garlinghouse thinks this will be over soon is because even in the Howie case, like John Deaton said, the orange was never the security. It was the package of the sale. So XRP clearly can't be the security. If it was bought under pretenses, it was the organization and the sales tactic of the company that would be the security sales, not the underlying asset, XRP. So recently, XRP had a glitch on one of the exchanges that pushed the price to $45,000. And my man, Isaiah G, I hope I'm saying it right, uh, retweeted this uh, snapshot of the price and claims that this is what XRP is going to be and sure is nice to see it that way. Anyway, moving on. John Deaton stands corrected amid the recent and bizarre turn of events. If Ripple wins, only XRP will be safe, not even Bitcoin. So this article isn't the best article in the world, but it gives you a little bit of insight on what they're talking about. Uh, John Deaton recently commented and said that, um, according to John Deaton's theory, if Ripple wins the SEC lawsuit, only Bitcoin and XRP will be safe from securities regulation. Since those words, the SEC said that it has not officially declared Bitcoin and Ethereum as compliant cryptos. Although there are many public videos that show the top SEC figures, including Bill Hinman and ex-SEC chair Jay Clayton, explicitly commenting on the two coins on behalf of the agency, not to mention the famous Hinman's 2018 speech. This seems to be quite a bizarre turn of events that, if holding true, John Deaton will stand corrected in regard to his prediction, Bitcoin is no longer safe from potential SEC enforcement action. This is huge. I've been saying this all along. Jamie Dimon's been saying it. Some of the best investors in the world have been saying this. At some point, governments are going to bring the axe to Bitcoin. It's just a matter of time. And you don't want to be left holding the bag. I get it. A lot of people have made a lot of money. I've made a little bit of money on Bitcoin myself. But I just don't trust it enough to keep my money locked in there. I know one day something is going to happen and it will be regulated out of existence or to a minimal value. Here's just a little bit, uh, another perspective on this same topic. 
The SEC recently changed its 2018 decision declaring that Bitcoin and Ethereum were never declared non-securities. According to recent testimony in the SEC v. Ripple case, the regulator could open an investigation into Ethereum after ongoing litigation. A U.S. government oversight organization has sued the SEC for handling the Ripple lawsuit. The Securities and Exchange Commission has revealed that cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum have not been declared non-securities. The regulator is likely to pursue an investigation into Ethereum once the litigation with Ripple ends. Proponents believe that the payment giant is closer to a win in the SEC v. Ripple case. U.S. oversight organization Empower has sued the SEC for the regulator's handling of the Ripple lawsuit. The organization alleged that former SEC chairs and directors of regional offices Jay Clayton, Mark Berger, and Bill Hidman have a massive conflict of interest in the SEC v. Ripple case. Further, the SEC has maintained several records in this case against Ripple, and Empower had asked for access to the same in line with the Freedom of Information Act. The watchdog believes that the records have details former SEC chairs and officials biased against XRP. The three SEC officials have left the regulator to join companies that deal in or are associated with Bitcoin or Ethereum. In its ongoing litigation, the crypto community's proponents have accused the SEC of bias against the payment giant Ripple. With the new testimony in the SEC v. Ripple case, it becomes clear that the regulator is yet to clarify its stance on whether Bitcoin and Ethereum are securities or non-securities. says here Kevin Cage uh, is bullish on the XRP price. Surprise, surprise. He notes that the altcoin is still in the top 10 after a year-long battle with the SEC and exchange delistings which is pretty remarkable when you think about it. I'm tired of retweeting XRP delisting posts. Can't wait to see all the relistings someday. Any other crypto asset would probably never survive this type of scrutiny. XRP the GOAT, still in the top 10 after one year of battling the final boss, <laughs> the SEC. We're getting closer. And I can't agree with this statement more. I think that this year, definitely, if not this year, January uh, will be... Uh, month to remember and i think that everybody that holds xrp in this community has been holding so long and doing such a good job of being faithful and having no doubt and recognizing what it is that they hold i know there's a lot of people who probably sold out who got scared but understanding what it is that you hold researching the company reading the white paper and what's the company's plan for the future that'll really let you know what the true value of the coin or the utility of your coin is. All I ask is that people do their own research. Don't take my advice because I'm not a financial advisor and just look into the things I'm telling you and you'll see that there's a tremendous opportunity here once again for the greatest wealth transfer the world has ever seen. That's it for me guys. I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.